The Starship's spectacular explosion mere minutes into its maiden orbital test flight struck fires of controversy yet again and set social media ablaze with speculations on what went wrong. However, in a wide-ranging address on April 29, 2023, SpaceX founder Elon Musk decided to focus on the positives instead and talked about the future of the rocket. Today, let's talk about this historic, albeit doomed, test flight and Elon's views on what went wrong and the upgrades to both the Starship and launch system that will be made to prevent this in the future. It's been roughly two weeks since Starship SpaceX was test launched on April 20th. The historic first orbital test flight of the world's most powerful rocket caused considerable damage to the pad, which now needs massive repairs before it can be deemed flightworthy. While the nearly 400-foot-tall vehicle was able to lift off and power to an altitude of about 25 miles (39 kilometers), it lost control and got caught in a spiral, forcing ground control to activate the flight termination system, sealing the rocket's fate with a controlled explosion. SpaceX has stated that the goal of Starship's first test flight has always been to get as much data as possible, not necessarily to reach orbit on the first flight attempt. So, with the rocket's failure to reach orbit and its subsequent explosion, enough data has been obtained to make huge improvements to the craft and its launch system. Additionally, apart from the failure of the rocket, the launch area at the company's Boca Chica test facility recorded substantial havoc which caused worry. While the damage to the launch pad is a major issue, it might now be the end of SpaceX's woes. The company may have attracted the wrath of the FAA once more after already having a tumultuous relationship with authorities. The FAA had previously threatened to penalize SpaceX for its risky launch practices, mainly due to the damage it caused to the natural habitat surrounding the test site. This latest flight attempt is reported to have caused a massive crater at the launch pad. The combined force of 30 Raptor engines was enough to strip concrete off the pad and send chunks flying in all directions. Some reports have stated that the FAA themselves may face a lawsuit for allowing SpaceX to continue these reckless practices. However, following the test flight, Elon Musk was interviewed on April 29th by several journalists and spaceflight enthusiasts in a Twitter space, where he gave a detailed update on the test flight and the launch pad. He started by saying, The outcome was roughly sort of what I expected and maybe slightly exceeded my expectations. I should say that we could get clear of the pad with minimal damage to the pad, and I'm glad to report that the pad damage is quite small, and it looks like it can be repaired quite quickly. Musk went on to disclose their plan to retrieve in-flight data, especially concerning the rocket's autogenous pressurization tanks, which showed incredible resiliency even after the termination command was executed. During the hour-long Q&A, Musk summarized that, while the nearly 400-foot-tall vehicle flew for more than three minutes, achieving several milestones for a rocket of unprecedented scale, Starship also lost multiple engines during the launch, caused severe damage to the ground infrastructure, and ultimately failed to reach space after the rocket began to tumble and was intentionally destroyed in the air. And while speaking on the potential solution for Starship launch pads, Musk said SpaceX is building a water-cooled steel plate to go under the launch mount. He went on to say that the plate was not ready in time for the FAA launch license, and SpaceX engineers believe that the orbital mount's underlying heat-resistant concrete would stand up to the force and temperature of a full launch based on the data gathered at the static test fire which was done on February 9th. In essence, Musk had admitted the company had wrongly assumed that the concrete would withstand the launch. They had miscalculated and relied on many factors that weren't always a case of simple numbers and had not calculated a lot of variables based on the available data. Still, Musk is overly optimistic, as he claims that it looks like we can be ready to launch again in one to two months. Musk reflected on the road ahead and changes that we should expect to see in the next few weeks. He had first indicated that we are going to be putting down a lot of steel underneath the launch tower before the next Starship flight. Debris was just basically sand and rock, so it's not toxic at all. It is just like a sandstorm, essentially, but we don't want to do that again. We certainly didn't expect to destroy the concrete under the launch pad. He then made remarks on how the trench may have been developed by headlining, but also theorized that we may have compressed the sand underneath the concrete to such a degree that the concrete effectively bent and then cracked. When asked about why SpaceX wants to use steel plates instead of flame trench, he said, You could do it either way and there are different schools of thought. What is important is that whatever the flame is hitting is regeneratively and evaporatively cooled so that you will see quite a large steam cloud, but not a dust cloud. 
The reason for going for a steel plate instead of a flame trench is that for payloads in the rocket, the worst acoustic environment doesn't matter to the payload since it's about 120 meters or 400 feet away. Elon also added, it can be done either way, but this is one way we are confident about. We are going to extend the steel just out beyond the rocket to make sure we don't dig up concrete elsewhere. We will also connect the load of the massive steel sandwich underneath the launch pad so it can take that load tension as well as compression. Musk wrapped up the interview with two final comments, saying the tower itself is in good shape. We see no meaningful damage to the tower even though they got hit with some pretty big chunks of concrete. We're also going to replace a bunch of the tanks in the tank farm, but these are tanks we wanted to replace anyway. Due to the rocket and launch pad upgrades, Musk said he anticipates SpaceX being ready for a second Starship launch attempt in six to eight weeks. However, he recognized the long process it takes to close out work with the FAA on the flight termination system, and opting to take other measures needed for a launch license may take a while. However, Musk is confident about the subsequent launch attempt, which will reiterate the same mission profile in which he hopes the Super Heavy will launch and land in the Gulf of Mexico. The Starship will separate, nearly reach orbital velocity, and then return to the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. And with the ongoing preparation for the next flight test, Musk is more convinced than ever this time around that they have up to a 50% chance of reaching orbit. He is also hopeful that they will get about four or five flights out this year. The need for a subsequent test flight is to go on with accumulating data about the performance of Super Heavy and Starship. And when the launch system can reliably reach orbit, the next stage of the program will involve establishing in-space fuel transfer and beginning to land and reuse both the booster and upper stages. Elon confirmed this by saying, it'll probably take us a few more years to achieve reusability regularly, where we bring the booster back and bring the ship back, he said. It'll take a few years to get to where Falcon 9 is today, where it is quite normal for the rocket to land. Musk continued answering questions from journalists into the late hours of the night. While the damage to the launch pad seemed visually significant, observers noticed that SpaceX had been fast to act and had already filled up the massive crater. The company is already hard at work on decoding the data collected from the test and making appropriate changes to the launch procedure. However, it is fair to assume that SpaceX and the FAA may first have to seek out a resolution to the environmental lawsuit that threatens the future of the company's test site. Until then, we must all wait in anticipation to see the majestic Starship take to the skies once more. SpaceX has not yet announced a formal date for the next test, but once they do, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you are among the first to know.